Hello and welcome to part 5 of the Boeing 747-8 tutorial. Enjoy. Okay. Then I'm going to add a subdivision service modifier. And I'm going to tab into edit mode and control R and move this right here. And we're looking pretty good actually. I'm going to add a modifier. It's going to be a mirror modifier on the Y axis. And what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to um, control A, rotation, and now this looks fine and dandy, except that we kind of have to move this in a bit to make it look good. And then I'll shade the object smooth. And then I can turn the subdivision up to two. And okay. Now I'm going to start cutting out these control surfaces here uh, with Control R. Oh, okay. I'm going to sl. And then I'm going to slide this. Slide this edge just a little bit. And I'm just going to move this like so. Looking good. And for these, I'm just going to hit G. And then for these two, I'm just going to hit G again. Then X. Oh. Got to select both of these. So I'm going to select all of these right here. And I'm going to hit G and X. And now they're in position. And control R and I'm gonna slide this right here. And another control R. Slide this right here. And now we're good. I'm just gonna hit G X and move this forward a little bit. Good. Control R, put it in. Okay, I'm going to select these three faces, and I'm going to select these three faces, these three faces, and I'm going to hit P, selection. And P, selection. And now we're going to edit these to look right. So I'm going to select these faces. F and do that all around. And for this one, same thing, F. Good. All right. Looking good. This 
one, we're gonna have to add a face in here. So F. And now we've rounded it off a lot, but um, we're also gonna wanna close these off. We'll deal with the rounding later. Okay, and the way that we're going to deal with the rounding is that we're going to control R and slide it like this and we can control R, slide this right here, or right there, and then we can select one of these, control R, slide this right here, control R, slide this right here and get get it looking more like a an aerodynamic thing like it should be okay looking good now this one we're going to control R slide this right here Control R, slide this up, and then Control R and slide this right here. Perfect. All right, and now we have the horizontal stabilizers. So now we're going to kind of do that for the here too. We're gonna add a subdivision surface modifier on the vertical stabilizer. We're gonna turn it up and um, let's shade it smooth. And now we can hit control R and slide this right here. Control R, slide this right here. Control R, slide this right here and control R and slide this right here. Kind of get this nice and sharp. And now let's do the same for this one. Uh, control R, oh, I'm gonna add a modifier first, subdivision. And then control R, slide this up right here. Actually, let's move really quick. Control R, slide this right here. Control R, slide this up right here. And the last one. Then this one, subdivision surface. And control R, slide this right here. Control R, slide, control R, slide, control R, slide, and control R, slide. Looking good. I'm just gonna slide this edge a little bit. Make it look sharper. I'll slide this a bit too. Okay. Um. Okay. Just getting everything to look right. And then for this one, I'm going to add modifier, subdivision surface. Subdivision surface. And I'm going to turn this up. Shade smooth. Tab and edit mode. Control R. Click slide and click again. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, do hit like and subscribe to the channel. And I hope to see you in chapter six. Bye-bye.